In a way, promoting diversity and inclusion should also mean that you're considerate and accepting of others who view the world differently, and those whose perspectives and philosophy differ from your own. This stance of inclusion resonates across multiple pillars of society, including customers with various economic situations too. In our time of inflation, how is HSBC tackling the cost of living crisis from a customer experience angle? The way we react to this landscape will vary slightly market by market. Mm -hmm. But for everyone, the crisis will manifest itself in a slightly different way, which is why there isn't really a, you know, a one size fits all approach or answer to it. The, the best way to approach it is really to just communicate that there are ways and there are means and there are solutions. And you just need to encourage people through call to action to, to have that conversation and then whatever your specific situation is, there are solutions for that. And then in other markets, there might be slightly different problems. So I think it all needs to start with a very robust social listening mm. and research exercise mm -hmm. just to understand what are the top five pain points that people are struggling with as part of that cost of living crisis. And then to really manage the proposition accordingly first and then to develop a campaign around it. But it has to be an orchestrated effort between brand marketing, product, proposition team, mm -hmm. and obviously, yeah. um, and it has to be aligned with the strategy of the bank all, all together. The, the, the thing is, it has to yeah. be customized, right? It has to be personalized. And that's why it varies from one market to another. That, make, that makes a lot of sense. I think definitely one thing I've picked up over the years with customer experience is brand image and brand equity it's quite commonly built in the toughest of times. Mm -hmm. So when the chips are down for a customer, i.e. they face a challenge or they're stuck and they're in a difficult situation, especially in a financial sense, that's when your brand, if it then plays a positive role and a helping role, that's when I think you create the most positive brand experience for the long term. That's where yeah. you, you know, I don't know what you think, but like, that's how I sort of see it. Because it's good when you look at a brand when the times are good, but when the times are not so good, that's when, you know, yeah, I think it's a it's a very valid observation. Completely, mm. completely agree with that. I would say it's a little bit like with people, right? Yeah. It's it's, it's usually in times of personal crisis mm. or or difficult periods and and rough patches that you see who your who your real friend is, and if they were there, you know, in the times of need, then you will remember them for a very long time, and you will probably yep. stick with them and 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 respect that friendship. And I think it's it's very similar to to the situation of friends. I think there is also another element of it, which is about in times of uncertainty. And, and crises, a lot of people kind of gravitate towards safe havens and, mm -hmm. and you know, and, and safe brands and safe pairs of hands. And I think that's where typically there is kind of a, a flight to, to quality and safety. And that must be obviously more challenging as well, because it's such a massive global brand the impacts of what you do could be you know bigger or or smaller compared to smaller brands so like the positives are bigger and the negative backlash might be bigger as well and it, i think it all brings it back to that point of diversity and inclusion and transparency that we've been talking about that in when it comes to like an economic crisis as well you have to be considerate about all those things and about how you know different people might react to the services that you're providing through your brand image and and how they will perceive you as a result and like greg said these harder times are what will shape that perception for years to come <laughs>